back to Flat 5 Games. My name is Jeremy and welcome to the first episode of Mod the Gungeon. Um, I've got a couple of mods installed. You can see that uh, over on the left it has all of our stats. Although incredibly small and I cannot even, I really can't read much of them. I can see that I'm ha I have one curse and you'll see why in a second. Um, also you may notice that I am playing as the Lich. Um, I downloaded a um, just a different character, uh, a skin for the hunter. Uh, you, even my dog is like a little lich dog. Um, and then I have health bars installed. Uh, so today, today's video is either going to be super fun and interesting, hopefully, or it's going to be like OP as crap and it's going to just, eh, not going to be that cool. Um, I'm hoping for the uh, former. So what I've done is I've given myself every uh, bullet upgrade possible. We've got, there was actually two or three that would not work. I'm not sure why. But anyway, we've got plus one bullets. We've got rocket powered bullets. We've got heavy bullets, shock rounds, explosive rounds, ghost bullets, scatter shot, irradiated lead, hot lead, frost bullets, charming rounds, magic bullets, fat bullets, angry bullets, battery bullets, Gilded bullets, silver bullets, flak bullets, zombie bullets, stout bullets, shadow bullets, homing bullets, chaos bullets, curse bullets, that's why I have one curse, chance bullets, helix bullets, and bloody 9mm. I have not fired the weapon yet, so I don't know what this is going to look like. But the, the point of this is uh, every bullet upgrade, but I'm only allowed to use my starter weapon. So, like I said, could be over super overpowered I'm not really sure here's what it looks like oh my gosh okay all right that's uh I feel like I feel like we're getting into uh, Isaac territory now so like I guess let's just start uh, this this should be interesting if nothing oh my gosh I cannot even see I am not gonna be able to dodge anything I mean I may not need to this is ridiculous oh my goodness okay might be a little overpowered. Um, it might be balanced a little bit by the fact that I cannot see crap. And, uh, you know, at the least, it should be somewhat entertaining. Unfortunately, uh, I am on the... Oh, man, I've already been hit. Um, as I mentioned last time, my normal save file is on my PS4. So I don't... I have not... Yeah, plus one bullets, like I need that. I don't have everything unlocked on this because uh, I haven't really played my uh, PC version much. So, unfortunately, if I even make it, I will not be able to go to hell. Um, we'll have to end this run at the dragon. I didn't think of that before I started. Oh my gosh, I'm, my own shots are scaring me. Um, I will, before I do another modded run, I'll, I'll just quickly try to unlock everything. And here's the thing. Do I pick up things? I'm going to say no. No items. Only what I gave myself. Because it's probably already way too overpowered. No items, that is, except for master rounds and consumables and armor and such. Um... So I guess I might as well just destroy my chest in the hopes that I could get um, some health. Yeah, I'll leave that behind. Because, yeah, this is, I mean, this is, I mean, we are on the first floor, so, it's, you know, I don't want to speak too soon. This could get chaotic pretty quickly. And I don't know, I mean, I, if, um... If I'm not getting items, is there really any point in full clearing? Not really. Other than making the video longer, but why stretch it out unnecessarily? I may just go ahead and take on the bosses. This is pretty epic though, I, ha I must say. I, I'm, whoa, oh my gosh, I, I wasn't even, expe I don't know what I was, I'm sleeping at the wheel. Man, this may not go well. Um, mm -hmm. I am already have lost half my health. And I cannot even see where I'm at. Okay. 
I keep losing my character. This is not good. This is like overpowered, but also a hazard. Um, I am entertained though, I will say that. Oh my gosh, my well, bullets are scaring the crap out of me. Okay. I think that's flak bullets doing that? I'm not sure. Oh! It's every time? Uh, I would like to see this with, um... I don't know, like... What gun would this be, like, epic with? I mean, oh my, can you imagine? What some of the other guns would look like with this? <laughs> like... I don't even know, I mean... The starter weapon has, you know, the most bland, lame bullets you can get, and look what it's producing. Can you imagine, I mean, like, first of all, imagine, like, something like the AK, just doing this at such a rapid fire rate. Uh, and then, whoa, look at all those bullets. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, like, what, are, what would that, the vertebrae K, again, come on, two videos in, same boss. Both times, the one boss I hate. Oh my goodness, look at his health just melt. Which is, I mean, that's good, seeing as how I cannot see anything. Oh, what was that? So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried about my, uh, my damage at all. I'm a little concerned about dodging but wow okay I guess I think that was the master round right oh whoa, 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 whoa. on fire no no thank you okay got my health back all right I'm not gonna use this but I gotta see okay how about that I'm gonna pick the guns up just to see because it's uh yeah but I'm only gonna oh yeah crossbow let's see what that looks like <laughs> okay that's pretty cool but I'm only going to use the starter weapon. Hmm. Yeah, so this might be a quick but fun run. Probably won't last too long. Either by me just uh, dying because I cannot see anything, or I just, you know, destroy everything. You know, I, I have not, I, th I guess it's because of all these bullets flying everywhere, but I haven't even been able to really uh, notice my the health bars too much. Too distracted by all this chaos. Man, this is crazy. I don't know if I'm ever, ever going to uh, get used to this. Yeah, if, uh, if, you're, in the, if you're in the gungeon and you play on the PC, which most people probably do, um, I really recommend, and, and you know, not that the game is not great by itself, once you've really, uh, you know, unlocked everything and done everything that you can normally, I, and, I, and I stress that I, I would really recommend experiencing this game for all it's worth at, a, at its normal, the way it was designed to be played. Because it's such an amazing game, it's so good. But at that point, if you're just uh, if, you're, if if it's getting kind of stale, which I mean, psh, this game's stale, right? Um, I would recommend um, downloading. Uh, it's mod the Gungeon. It's uh, very, 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 very simple to set up. I mean, you, you just download an installer, install it, it, it pretty much automatically finds the, um, um, your Gungeon application, or you, if it, if it cannot for some reason, all you do is just point to where your, the executable is, and there's tutorials online if you, um, can't figure it out, and it's that's all, the, all there is to it at that point uh, then you just download um, mods that you like and drop them in a folder that's labeled mods that is created automatically uh, the only downside man I'm distracted uh, is that 
the whole modding the Gungeon is a pretty new project. I mean, the game has only been out for, what, it's coming up on a year? Is it, is it really only that long? Am I, am I going crazy? Um, so, you know, this is to be expected, but um, there's only a handful of mods out there. Some of them are pretty cool. Um, I'm only showing you two right now with the stat display, which it's almost borderline useless. I can't see anything. Uh, movement speed seven, health four, accuracy something, damage, I, who, who knows? Curse one, I can't read it. Um, but you got the stat display, I have health bars installed. There's uh, several others. There's one for infinite keys, one for infinite ammo. Um, but what what's really great is the fact that it comes with um, a little console window. You can just uh, hit F2 and it brings up a console and uh, you can type in like give whatever item you want and and so you can set up these really ridiculous interesting fun runs for yourself and see what all kind of crazy synergies you can come up with which uh, actually brings me to my next point I, was, I meant to say this earlier but um, if you're watching this and there's any there's it like any um, ideas or challenges that you can think of that you'd like to see I would love uh, to hear about it just uh, comment yeah just put them in the comments down below and I would, I would try my best to get to them I probably will get to them because let's face it I don't have a whole lot of traffic going on on this channel but um, so yeah I mean, you post a challenge and, it's, and as long as it's not just ridiculously stupid I'll probably do it um, and I would be very excited about that. So, um, it doesn't have to include the, um, you know, the mod. I mean, you can, any stipulations, you know, like rules, you know, doing it with no, uh, only guns from ball, no chests or only guns from balls rooms, uh, no health ups, um, no blanks, without, you know, no spending money, I don't know, oh, this is the boss I like, I'll probably screw it up, since I, you know, actually like it, but, uh, anything, really, anything you can think of, oh, this ain't good, I don't know where, I'm confused, I don't want to be this far away from her. It's not the way you do this fight. I'm having trouble seeing myself. It honestly, it, it's not. Even with all this stuff flying around, it, it is not that bad. I'm whining more than is necessary. Whoa, what was that? That was something else. Alright, so now we're going to see what the glacier looks like. Ain't that the glacier? Yes, it is. Okay, that's cool. There's some giant ice cubes that uh, somehow leave fire. Oh my gosh, the explosions. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. I'm going to poison myself if I don't watch out. Oh man. Heading on down. So, yeah. I think coming up, uh, I've really been interested in the idea, and it may, f I don't even know if this is possible, to finish a run like this. But what better way to find out? I was thinking of, since the bullet, uh, which I haven't unlocked on here yet. Whoa, I got stuck on the door. Since the bullet cannot take contact damage, and he does extra damage via dodge roll, and the item, what's it called? The Armor of Thorns, you know, the Dark Souls reference, um, gives the bullet like an obscene amount of damage. Like, it's crazy. I have seen that on YouTube, but 
Uh, I have never been lucky enough to actually come across that item while I was using the bullet. And so I was thinking, what if I gave myself like um, that item to start off with, maybe flight so that I can reach everybody. And I don't know what would, else would be necessary. Maybe like a speed up. Uh, maybe, uh, what's that called? The Spring Hill boots, Spring Hill shoes, Spring Hill boots, whatever, the where you can uh, basically get a double roll, double jump roll. And then try to do a dodge roll only run. And if that sounds absurd to you, oh, oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness, I cannot tell what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm at, this is ridiculous. Okay, lost my train of thought, I just uh, brought annihilation on this room. Uh, if that sounds absurd to you, that you could finish a run by only rolling, I mean, well first of all, it sounds absurd to me too, but... Um, you apparently have not seen the amount of damage that comes with the armor of, armor of thorns plus the bullet. It is crazy. It one-shots, if I'm not mistaken, it one-shots every single enemy in the game. Um, I don't know about maybe not cursed enemies or jammed enemies. I'm not sure about that. But... Uh, or may, probably not buffed enemies by those deal weeds. But I know you can um, you can want you just roll into a gun nut and they just die. It even takes off quite a bit of health from bosses. Now the issue is that you have to be up close and personal with the bosses and I'm not sure how that would work out with some of them. I guess since yeah, if I give myself flight, maybe it'll work. I don't know. really don't. Oh man, I get so distracted. I'm not sure how long I can keep that excuse going. Uh, this is still fun though. It's 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 relaxing. It's like uh, this is the most like Isaac-ish. And it's slash relaxing run I've ever had on Gungeon. I mean, I say relaxing, but I'm also uh, sort of hemorrhaging health over here. I say, I mean, I don't know. I've lost two full hearts. Um, but you know how on Isaac, you know, quite often you get so overpowered, you're just running from room to room, just destroying everything with a flurry of crazy um, stuff. And I sort of feel like I'm doing that. So, do I care to take the time to... No, I don't. I don't. I will do that on my off time. Okay, so I have plenty of money. I can go buy some health. Because I didn't say nothing about not buying health. No, I did not. Oh, already got... This was one of the... Uh... I'm buying that. This is one of the uh, bullet items that uh, it would not let me get. I'm not sure something was messed up or what but no matter how many times I typed it in there it just kept saying invalid item and I said no no it is not an invalid item even the chickens have a health bar that's interesting I'm not sure if this made it better or worse it has to be better right I mean longer lasting bullets of doom oh I didn't see you okay Still, I'm still like flinching at those shots coming back at me. Why not? Might as well. Guess I'll please cannonball rod. Of course not. The game hates me. Oh, I'm almost rolled straight into a bullet, and I walk straight into one because I can't see. Can't see nothing. Oh my gosh, I cannot see where I'm. I know, you, I'm sure you out there are like, what's he talking about? I can see him just fine. Well, you know what? You're not controlling him. And I am very distracted. There's so many bullets. I know there's a red, but man, I, it's hard for me to keep track of what's mine and what's not. Thank you for the help, though. I know I don't have to click those. It'll happen automatically, but I do it anyway. Void shotgun. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. It, more, more or less, they all look 
very similar. It's, uh, should I go look for more health? It's probably in my best interest. Uh, I could lose health on my journey to find it. Hopefully that won't be the case. All right, that room was cool. All right. So how are you liking this uh, Lich uh, skin? I think he's pretty cool. Oh man, yeah, losing health. I wish, I wish their bullets would be drawn on top of all other bullets on on fire. Uh, maybe I should open that one. Ah. Uh, I feel like uh, a lot of times when I open those, I get red hearts. Red hearts. Okay, so instead of gaining some health, I lost half of a heart. So that's the risk I took, I suppose. Nothing I can do about it now. Down to the hollow. It's going to be embarrassing if I lose with all of this that I have been granted. Such an advantage. I really have no excuse to not win this. Um, but, we shall see. See, I just, I don't, I don't even know what hit me. I really don't. That is the issue with this. It's like I'm complaining about how much power I have. It's too much, it's too unwieldy. Yo, no. You have to, uh, you know, train for a long time before you're giving weapons of this sort to make sure that you're ready to wield it. I just typed on a keyboard and gave it all to myself. You know how they say if, uh, whoa, there's another person. If a poor person, um, wins the lottery, that all the money is gone and they have nothing to show for it very soon afterwards. Their life doesn't really change because they didn't know how to handle that kind of power and responsibility. But if people that actually acquire large amounts of money on their own it was due to their self-discipline, smarts, and uh, and such. So by the time they were into that type of money, they were ready. They knew how to handle it. I think that's how how it's going right now with this the, these um, this weapon I've got. It's just all thrust onto me at once and. Well, it's not ready. It's too much responsibility. I mean, look. Alright. Great. I'm thinking I shouldn't have got the bouncy tear. I mean, tears. Oh, man! It just makes everything last on the screen that much longer. I have to dodge everything for that much longer. Okay. Look at that. Keeps everything in this nice hallway. What did I get hit on? I shocked myself. Because of the stupid battery bullets. I forgot I had those. Oh, this is horrible. That's probably how I've been hurting myself. I think that's ridiculous. If, if there... If you can get the robot's starting item. I'm gonna, I'm about to die. This is it's going to be over quick. Then you should you should be immune to your own stuff. I get it that the robot is a robot and whatever electricity is probably good for him, I don't know. Maybe it's his life source is juice. But and if I'm not mistaken, let me see. Uh, how do I do this? Pull up the no. Pull up the map. 
Oh, I cannot even see. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, on the PC version, um, I don't know how to drop um, items. And I'm not about to take the time to look that up. This run is probably over anyway. But it's been fun. It's been enlightening. It's been, uh, I know, I... So, anyway, what... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so, yeah, that's, this has proven my point. I know how to drop items. It just, it won't let you drop this stupid item because it's a starting item for the robot. But it hurts you if you're not the robot. So, you, you know, you should at least be able to get rid of it. That's, that's, I don't like that. That's dumb. That is dumb. It's like, you know, you're playing not as the robot, and you come across the chest, and you're like, oh, cool, battery bullets or whatever. I did not even see him. Whatever, I don't care. Um, that was fun. You know, you gotta have a short video every now and then. You do. So, um... Anyway, you come across the chest and you see a oh, cool battery bullets. That'll be awesome. You know, I like those as the uh, robot. I will get those. But you're not the robot. And so the first time you're in some water and you shoot, oh yeah, I'm about to shock everybody. But then you take damage. And it's like, oh crap, I don't want this no more. Oh look, there's a great guy in the shop. I'll sell it. Perfect. No, you can't drop it to sell it. You can't drop it to get rid of it. Stupid really dumb so yeah if you're not the robot don't pick that up unless you're you got a suicide wish um a death wish so anyway that'll be all for today's mod the gungeon episode sorry it was so short and sorry i displayed really some horrible skill um i mean i gotta say it was a little tough to see what was going on i did not see that guy that killed me didn't know he was there uh i think i was shocking myself periodically not really sure. Um, all in all, it was fun, though. And, and, and yeah, if you ever want to know, I wonder what it would look like if I got every single bullet uh, modification at the same time. Well, that, folks, is what it looks like. So, um, if you like this video, if you have any ideas um, of your own, just let me know in the comment section. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, subscribe if you would like to see more because um, I think next I'm going to go back and do a normal uh, normal run again. Uh, and I think I'm just going to alternate it back and forth. You know, I've got a save file um, where I'm just starting from scratch and um, working my way up to unlock everything. And then I'm going to, off camera, go ahead and unlock everything in, on this save file. That way, uh, everything is an option. Um, and then uh, this will be just for modded runs and um, crazy stuff. So, um, yeah. Until next time, uh, this has been Flat 5 Games playing Mod the Gungeon. Thanks.